Hi, I'm Caitlin from Marathon Handbook, and today we're going to go through a full pre-run warm-up routine that you can try out before your next session. You don't have to use all of them before you run, but just make sure that you hit all of the major muscle groups that you're going to be using and your joints. So you want to make sure that you warm up your hip flexors, your ankles, your quads, glutes, calves. For these dynamic stretches, you can do it time-based. So take about 30 seconds for each dynamic stretch. So let's go. First, we're gonna start with leg swings, front to back. So here, if you have a little trouble with balance, you might wanna look for something to hold on to while you're doing this exercise, but you're gonna stand nice and tall on one leg, your core engaged, you're gonna take one leg off the ground and you're gonna swing it back and forth, back and forth. For our second exercise, we're going to do lateral leg swings. So again, stand nice and tall, core engaged, but instead of moving one leg front to back, you're gonna move it side to side in front of your body. Our third exercise is high knees. Now these are gonna work and warm up your hip flexors. You can begin by doing it slowly, bringing each knee up in front of your body, using your hand as a guide to kind of hit each hand as you go. And as you become more comfortable with the movement, you can start going faster and faster until it becomes more of a cardio exercise as well, where you're really driving your knees up and moving nice and fast, and this will also bring your heart rate up. For our fourth exercise, we're gonna do butt kicks. So now what you wanna do is stand nice and tall, bring your heel to your glute and alternate. You can also begin just like we did with the high knees, nice and slow. This is a great dynamic stretch for your quads. Alternate your heels to your glute one at a time, and then you can begin going faster and faster until again, it becomes more of a cardio warm up exercise as well. For our fifth dynamic exercise, we have alternating walking forward lunges. So this is really a full body exercise to get all of your leg muscles warm up. It's going to also help with your hip flexors. This is a great all around one. If you don't have a lot of time, this is the one to do. So you wanna stand nice and tall. You wanna take your right leg, step out in front of you and go down into a nice lunge, both knees at 90 degrees. Just make sure like in regular lunges at the gym that your knee does not pass over at the front of your toe. For our sixth exercise, you're going to continue with lunges, but now we're gonna work on side lunges. You're really gonna feel this in your inner thighs and your quads, and it's a different movement pattern for you. So you want to stand with your feet together and then take one big step out to the right and sit back into a side lunge. Bring yourself back to the center and then continue alternating sides. Our seventh exercise is the windmill stretch, and this is a great one for those tight hamstrings. So you're gonna stand with your feet wider than hip width apart, and your arms out in a T. Then you're going to bend at the waist and you're going to take your right hand and touch your left toes. Come back up to the center, nice and tall, and then your left hand to your right toes. Our eighth exercise are heel to toe rocks. I don't know about you, but my ankles really take a while to get warmed up. And this is a great dynamic stretch for your ankle joint and also for your calves. So you're gonna start standing tall and you're going to go way, way, way up on your tiptoes go back into the center and then rock back on your heels and continue alternating to warm up those ankles. Exercise nine, our knee hug. So not only will this also help your hip flexors warm up, but also it's really a great warm up for balance and stability. So you're gonna stand really tall on one leg, grab the knee of the other leg and squeeze it. Give it a nice big hug and press it into your chest. Remember, just hold it for a second or two and then move on to the other side. Our dynamic stretch number 10 are floor sweeps. It's another great one for the hamstrings. So I always throw a couple of these in. So I perhaps I would do windmills first and then the floor sweeps next. So you're gonna stand nice and tall, bring one leg forward with your heel on the ground and then take a nice big sweep with both arms, bending down at the waist. However, keeping your back nice and straight. Continue walking forward and alternating sides. Dynamic stretch number 11 is going to be a dynamic quad stretch. So, you know, usually at the end of your run, when you're doing static stretches, you would bend one knee, take your foot in your hand and press it up against your glute to really stretch those quads out. In this case, since we're gonna do it dynamically, you just wanna make sure that you hold it for one or two seconds and switch sides. And for our last dynamic stretch is the runner stretch. This is a doozy. This will hit every muscle, every joint. So if you have only have time to do one dynamic stretch, do our runner stretch. Start in a plank position. Make sure that your plank is nice and straight from head to toe. 
you want to then bring one foot up next to your hand on that side and then you're gonna adjust. Make sure that your knee in the front is pulling out in front of you and you feel that your foot that is behind you is pulling out in back of you. So you wanna feel that resistance in this first position. Once you're in this position, take your hand that is placed next to the knee that you brought forward and you wanna raise it up like you were going to do a side plank position. Rotate your torso, bring your hand up facing the sky and look up at your hand. Hold that stretch for a couple of seconds. Then come back down, bring your hand back down next to the bench knee, go back into a plank position and then switch sides. There you have it, 12 of my best dynamic stretches for your next free run warm up. Remember, you don't need to do them all. Pick and choose which ones work best for you and what will make you feel best before your next workout.